the Flash is fast, but there's one thing that he can't outrun, and that is bullets. Wait a second, that's Quicksilver. Let's try that again. The Flash is fast, but one thing he can't outrun is depression. No, wrong again. That's Sonic. I'm sorry, let's try that one last time. The Flash is fast, but one thing he can't outrun is the box office. I apologize. Hello my friends, I recently watched the Flash movie, and let me tell you, it was quite a mess. After I left the theatre, I couldn't quite pinpoint what I didn't like about it. However, after pondering it with a perplexed expression on my face, I believe I have narrowed it down to three main reasons. Today, I would like to share them with you. But before we begin, I want to make it clear that I won't be discussing Ezra Miller's controversial past or the production issues that plagued this movie. Although I acknowledge that these factors likely influence the film's overall quality, I'll focus solely on the content itself. So without further ado, let's dive in and break it down. My first problem with the Flash movie is Barry's lack of intelligence when it comes to the consequences of time travel. Batman warns Barry that traveling back in time would be wildly irresponsible, and that even the smallest action could have unknown consequences. Barry argues that he could fix things, referring to saving his mother's life and stopping his dad from being wrongfully arrested. However, Batman continues to empathize that Barry could destroy everything by doing so. And I must say, Batman is completely right here. Yet, a few scenes later, Barry foolishly believes that he has found a way to bypass this warning and go back in time without causing any significant damage to the timeline. Bruce had no interaction, this is no interaction, this is just click in, click out back to the present like I was never even there. His logic here is incredibly flawed. Barry's plan is to move a can of tomatoes into his mother's shopping cart. He thinks that this small act will not alter the future in a negative way because he isn't interacting with anyone directly. However, he fails to realize that even the slightest change can have a profound impact. This phenomenon is known as the butterfly effect, something Barry himself is very aware of. Oh, I know, the butterfly effect, right? Moving the can of tomatoes, although seemingly insignificant, triggers a chain of events that can indeed wreak havoc on the timeline. If only Barry had someone to warn him about this. Oh, wait. What are you? An idiot sandwich. How Barry thinks he will be able to return to the future after making such a significant alteration, expecting everything else to remain the same except for his mother's and father's life, is simply dumb. It's frustrating how Barry doesn't seem to consider the potential ramifications of tampering with time. He is so narrow-minded and he believes that moving the tomato can will somehow remain as an isolated incident. That's not how the butterfly effect works, Barry. He also goes back in time at the end of the movie and straight up fucking speaks to his mother. This is something that yet again is obviously going to start another chain reaction butterfly effect. It's like he learnt absolutely nothing throughout the movie. My next issue is the quality of CGI, and I'm sure it's not surprising that CGI is a topic of concern here. It's pretty well known at this point how widely criticised this movie's visuals are. I usually restrain from criticising CGI, considering the time constraints and challenges faced by visual effects artists, especially in a massively effect-heavy movie like superhero ones, so I don't blame any of the artists who worked on this film directly. They are still extremely talented and probably did the best with what they had to Okay, we get it. You don't blame the VFX artist. Could you continue with your point already? Uh, yeah, right. As I was saying, the CGI in this film was exceptionally poor. There were some scenes that were so badly rendered that it's impossible not to notice. Let's take this scene with the babies and dog, for example. This dog looks straight out of an animated movie, and these babies look even worse than that. Then there was this scene of Superman in the movie that looks ridiculous. It's disheartening to see such low quality CGI in a movie released in 2023. I don't even have to explain it, I can just show you clips. <laughs> and that explains much more than I ever could by talking about it. And uh, make a long story short. The CGI is really, really bad. Finally, the portrayal of the younger Flash was bothersome. He was infuriatingly annoying and over the top to an unbelievable degree. No one is this over the top. While The Flash was somewhat annoying in Justice League when he was younger, he was nothing close to this guy's level of douchiness. Mom. 
Now, my issue with this is that his stupidity is what causes a lot of the drama to happen because he can't stop causing chaos. For a good half an hour of the film, the plot revolves around the older Barry babysitting a stupid version of himself. But there is no reason for him to be this dumb to begin with. Making someone stupid just so that there is some conflict in the plot is lazy to me. But here's the worst part. It isn't even consistent. After the older Barry and younger Barry have a 30 second heart to heart, his character changes completely and he's no longer an over the top moron. I'm sorry, but I don't believe someone this childish could change into a decent person just like that. It's the laziest attempt at character development because it doesn't feel earned. I know the flash is fast, but it doesn't mean everything needs to be rushed. Young Barry just acts stupid when the script needs him to. And then, when the movie wants to focus on other elements, his personality is suddenly dialed down to act like somewhat of a normal person. I'd also like to add that the younger Barry is supposed to be 18, while the older Barry is almost 30, yet except for the haircut, they look exactly the same. This movie had a $200 million budget. Are you telling me they couldn't make him look a little younger? Am I asking too much here? Look, I'm probably being overly harsh and looking into this way more than I should, but it's because I love talking about this stuff. Truth be told, I still enjoy the movie, but this video isn't about what I liked about The Flash. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Also, I have some other DC videos on my channel, or some Marvel videos if you want to mix it up a little. But for now, that's the end of the show.